Hey developers, so today I am answering a question I get a lot. Why do I like Vue.js? And what does it have going for it? So Vue.js, if you don't know, is another one of those frameworks out there. They call themselves a progressive framework, though some people could argue it's a library. If you take a look at what they offer, they offer quite a few things. So I'll show you a few things of why I like Vue.js. So you can see here, it has reactive data binding, which is pretty popular. You can do that in a lot of other, these other single page application frameworks, but it makes it easy to data bind information from your logic to the view layer of your application. Of course, components is an extremely important part of a lot of different libraries and frameworks. So that way you can easily take your web application and you can break it into smaller parts and pieces and you can logically separate information to where they should go. So definitely having components and the, the way you put together these applications in Vue.js is really simple. It has a really easy way, um, has these things called directives, which make it really simple to just kind of piece together your application. You're writing most of your code just in normal HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then you're adding in these directives that looks like just normal HTML at different places of your application to do what you need to do to do this different data binding. Uh, it also there is a, a, ra a rea excuse me a router that comes with it. I'm um, just kind of like like Ember.js and and Re and React. There is a router for it, so you can do that. Um, you can easily take your Vue.js application and you can take bits and pieces of it. If you if you want to include Vue in a larger app, it's easy to just add that as like an additional library and then be able to use it. Or you can create your whole application using Vue, which is pretty cool. Like I said, mentioned before, it just has a very simple, simple API um, to put things together. If you are interested, I've done a few tutorials on it. I'll include some links about that. In a previous video, I mentioned a few JavaScript trends that are happening right now, and one of the biggest trends is Vue.js. So it is becoming very, very popular. And of course, just because something isn't is popular doesn't mean it's any good, but that would be good to keep an eye out for because more and more employers are gonna be using it, more and more companies are gonna be trying it out more and more projects, more and more applications, and they're gonna be more need of people that know this framework. And if you're going to a job interview and you're going with someone that has no experience, but maybe they have experience in a different framework, and then you have some experience in it, that's gonna give you some advantage, for sure. And it uses virtual DOM, something called Snap DOM, which is, is really quick. So it's gonna make it really quick for updates on your view layer. So these are just a few things, the reasons why I like Vue. Um, personally too, I've come from the Ember.js world. I'm still a huge Ember.js fan, um, but I've noticed definitely how highly opinionated it is and how kind of, once you start with Ember.js, you're not gonna be able to mix and match Ember.js into a larger application. That's really difficult to do. You're, it's really highly opinionated. I mean, of course you can add libraries and everything to it, but it's it's definitely once you go a certain pathway. And something like Vue.js and Glimmer.js, which I've talked about in a different video, which is coming along, are are definitely kind of answers to that of something smaller, light lightweight um, libraries or frameworks that help you do a lot more. So that is a couple of reasons why I like Vue.js and I think you should too. If you're interested in Vue, I am working on a big project with Vue. Uh, I won't give away too many details, but it has some writing involved in it, and I am really excited to announce it soon. If you're interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. It's going to be a link to my newsletter where I give out free courses. I give about every week or two, I send out a, an email newsletter about the newer videos I've written, my blog posts, any contests I'm running, discounts and stuff. 
So if you're interested, sign up for that that newsletter below and I'll let you know about this new project coming out soon and you might even be able to get something for a discount, who knows. So just click on that link below and sign up for my newsletter. That'd be awesome. Thank you.